What's up everybody, Chlorine King here. I got an exciting new product here. It's called the Blue Riot. It's a, a smart water analyzer and it allows you to check your chemistry of your pool water at any time from your phone. One thing I'm really excited about is this unit, uh, which other analyzers don't do, is measure salt. So I'm really looking forward to that. So let's go ahead and open this thing up, show you guys what you get with the box and the products and set up an installation and get you analyzing your pool right away. All right guys, so this is what the box contains. You got the Blue Riot Smart Water Analyzer, the unit itself, and its storage cap stand. This is for what you're going to replace this cap with so the probe can actually sit in the water and take measurements. This is the Wi-Fi extender, the bridge if you will, the plug for that, the tether for the Blue Riot, and of course the instruction manuals and Wi-Fi bridge setup instructions. So let's go ahead and show you what's next. We'll uh, show you how to download the app, get your pool registered, and then we'll go ahead and connect the sensor. Do is get the app set up so we can go ahead and connect the uh, Blue Riot smart water sensor. So head over to your app store, your Google Play store, and you wanna search Blue Riot with two eyes. Click search. Now I already downloaded the app and created a profile here, but I'll show you the steps for that. So you wanna sign in with your email. You could also sign in with Facebook and I believe Twitter as well. I'm gonna go ahead and enter my email and password. Now here, instead of clicking, I'm gonna click and sign in here, but you normally click sign up and then it'll automatically sign you up. So we're gonna click sign in. So now we're going to, assuming this is a new product for you guys, we're going to create a new swimming pool. And now here's all the parameters that we're going to put in so it knows what exactly uh, the pool has and all that fun stuff. So we're going to name it My Pool. We're going to click on Water Volume. So we're going to click on, I have a kidney shaped pool. So we're going to click, I have a 16,000 gallon pool. It's a swimming pool, of course, outdoor, in ground, okay. Waterproofing, uh, mine is a, a quartz. My pool was built in 2008. Sanitizing method, mine is a saltwater pool. This is pH regulation, if you had a pH, uh, like an acid feed or anything like that, I don't have that, so I'm not gonna select it. Uh, do not have UV disinfection. So as far as equipment, I do not have any type of cover or anything like that. Filtration, I have a cartridge filter. Cleaning, I have a suction cleaner. An MXA and Elite, that's awesome. Heating, I have a Janney JE 3000 TR heat cool, so heat pump. And then it looks like it's uh, we're going to modify location of the pool, which is already grabbed. Click OK, and then create. All right, guys. So now we are here to where we can add the smart water analyzer. But let's go ahead and get that ready and do what we need to do to get that thing uh, synced up and available to for the app to recognize it. All right, so let's go ahead and click on Add Smart Water Analyzer. And then scroll down here to the bottom, click it again. Now on the cap, there is a barcode, a QR code. So I picked it up, we're gonna click United States. And now we're basically going to uh, wake the analyzer by shaking it as shown in the video. And you'll actually hear a beep. So I just heard two beeps, so we know that's good. And now the uh, analyzer is activating via the app. All right, now we are here at the screen where it says smart water analyzer activated. So now we can go ahead and get the sensor prepped for the pool. And what we're going to do is we're going to place it in the pool. I'm gonna tether it to my vacuum hose. Go ahead and click next. So now it's wanting us to go ahead and replace the uh, cap. I'll do a separate video, insert that in here as I get started with that. 
All right, guys, we're getting closer to uh, getting this thing in the water. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is apply the tether to the unit. Cause again, I'm uh, tying this to the vacuum hose. So you just wanna make a nice loop here, a nice knot. Now we got our uh, tether ready. And then of course the other end's gonna go to our vacuum hose. And now what we need to do is get the probe exposed so we can, um, this thing can take measurements. So this just unscrews. And now what it says to do next is go ahead and rinse it. So we're gonna rinse it in the pool. And then all you do is you just take this, put it on here just like that. And now we got water that can go in here and reach the probes for our reading. So now we are ready for the pool. Once it's prepped, go ahead and put it in the water, click next. All right, so now we we'll just go ahead and set the blue right in the pool. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this to the vacuum hose. All right, so I got the Wi-Fi extender uh, plugged in. I try to keep it as close to the pool as possible and to the unit, so it'll have a solid connection, very easy time doing so. So let's go back to the app. So now once in the app, we're gonna go ahead and click on My Blue Extender. We're gonna click Connect My Blue Extender on the bottom. And now it's gonna search for it. Click on that one, it's gonna connect to it. Now it brings up some networks here. We're gonna click on Taylor House, and it's gonna ask us for our password. Now we're gonna go ahead and enter our password. Click OK. Sun our light just turned green on the unit itself. And now it's pairing it to the analyzer, which is exactly what we want. We're going to go ahead and configure it now. Perfect. Blue extender connected, so we're good there. And now we can receive updates and notifications anywhere in the world now through our Wi Fi. All right, guys, coming back to the home screen now, we can see that it's taken a measurement, so we can go ahead and click into it and it gives you your temperature, your pH, your sanitation, your ORP, how effective the, the uh, chlorine is and all that your sanitation is, and of course your salinity. So uh, it looks like my salt's a little low according to this. So what's cool about this, we'll go through all the different uh, icons at the bottom and show you what it does and what, what uh, information this thing gives. Uh, so before we do that though, we can click into it and it'll tell you you know, you can do uh, day, week, and month readings. Of course, I just started this up today, so I'm only gonna get one reading at the moment, but it takes up to 20 readings per day. So you can do that literally with everything, and it'll create, you know, a, a line graphs for you, essentially, uh, within these individual settings. So you can, over time, track how your pool's doing. We click the bottom left one here, it's your general screen, and of course, you get weather updates with the subscription. Uh, you click on this, and this is the most current reading uh, that you took, and you can see here it says two minutes ago. Then you can click on the blue button, and you could do a Bluetooth measure or do a test strip and input the readings from there. You could also go over here, and it's going to tell you all about your pool. So it looks like it's wanting me to add some salt, so it tells you the steps to do that, which is really cool. Uh, so that way there's no question about what exactly you need to do. So. Uh, that's a really cool feature. I like the little the pool guy 
icon on the bottom to let you know, hey, this is what I need to do to keep the pool uh, right. And again, this is the settings menu. So if we click on my swimming pool, it puts in all those settings we put in the beginning. Uh, my smart water analyzer, obviously that's the device itself. It lets you um, see what's going on with it, the uh, you know version of it and all that fun stuff. And then we click on my blue extender and it shows us it's connected and good to go. And then again, you can do my preferences, which is nice because you can do custom notifications, whether you want to be just by notification on your phone or email. Same with the measurement report. I'm going to do that by notification. And I'm going to click save there. You can even choose a time of day you want it to be notified. And then your display and units. You know, I like Fahrenheit because we're in Florida, so I do Fahrenheit. Um, you can actually activate a virtual assistant like Google Assistant or Alexa and connect it to this as well. So that's basically the app in a nutshell. And it's really cool. It gives you your active readings. And you can pull one up at any time by doing Bluetooth measurement. So we click on a new measure has been taken. We click on the the, the measurement so at the end of the day this is a very cool product I love how it does salinity and uh, hopefully guys you learn a little bit about the product how it works and how to set it all up and get your pool measurement uh, on your cell phone and learn how to take care of your own pool so it's a great product I totally think uh, this is worth buying so get one for your local pool store or through someone like me and uh, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos We'll see you next video.